हेलो एवरी वन इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डेरीवेशन ऑफ द रीमान करवेचर टेंसर स्टूडेंट्स एज यू नो इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द करवेचर ऑफ अ मैनी फोल्ड वेयर वी हैव टेकन एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ पैरलोग्राम दैट इज ड्रॉन इन अ स्पेस ऑफ अ पॉजिटिव करवेचर लाइक दिस एंड इफ वी टेक अ वैक्टर अलॉन्ग टू डिफरेंट डायरेक्शन ऑफ दिस पैरलोग्राम दैन द रिजल्टेंट ऑफ दिस वैक्टर एक्चुअली गिवज अस अ करवेचर इन अ पैरल मैनर स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव डिफाइंड इट दैट वी कैरी अ वैक्टर along two sides of a parallelogram and noting the difference between the resulting vector and the vector obtained by carrying it along the other two directions gives the measure of the curvature now students the derivation is very simple and straight forward we will consider a contravariant vector x i of a and its and we will take its covariant derivative first of all with respect to c and then with respect to d here semicolon actually represents the covariant derivative Now, students. First of all, we will consider this quantity as it is, and we will take its partial derivative with respect to d, plus gamma of a b d x i of b semicolon c. Here, b replaces a, and b is used as a dummy variable. As we are replacing here the uh, contravariant index, so we are uh, we are writing over here the positive sign. Now, here we will replace the covariant index. Okay. so that's why we are using over here the dummy index that is e now students you can also consider it in this way like first of all for example if you are asked to find the double derivative of a particular function then students first of all you take its first derivative and then again second derivative in a similar way you can consider this quantity now students if you take the Uh, co covariant derivative of x i of a with respect to c then you will get this one means first of all its partial derivative with respect to c plus here obviously um b replaces our a and b is used again as a dummy index and this partial derivative as it is plus gamma of a b d as it is and we are taking the partial or sorry covariant derivative of x i of b with respect to c and then minus gamma of e c d as it is and we take its covariant derivative with respect to e that is given by this one now students here you can easily observe that we want to take the partial derivative with respect to d that the uh, these two quantities that are inside the brackets so if we take its partial derivative then we have to use the product rule that is given by this one means x i of a comma c d means the partial derivative of x i of a comma c with respect to d plus here we have used the product rule and then after simplifying the other terms we get equation number one in a similar manner students we want to find x i of a semicolon d semicolon c that means the covariant derivative of x i of a with respect to d and then again with respect to c here students you can observe that first of all we have taken the derivative first with respect to c and then d here we are writing d first it means that actually we are carrying our covariant vector sorry contravariant vector along two different directions okay now the procedure is simple just replace d by c in equation number 1 as you can see that here x i of a comma c d then that means you have to write d c or c d as it is okay plus gamma of a b c and you have to replace d uh, d by c or c by d then i have written over here c with d so b d comma c and in a similar manner you can also uh, replace all the other values and you will get equation number 2 now students if you subtract like x i of a this quantity with respect to this one or more pre precisely you can say if you subtract equation number 2 from equation number 1 then you will get this one students you can easily observe that if we subtract both of these quantities then obviously the first term will be cancel out with this one and in a similar manner all the other terms will be cancel out and we are left with this okay now students we can replace b by e in the last expression because it is a dummy index 
okay because he e is used as a dummy variable so can use another dummy variable in place of it and there will be a no difference in your original expression okay if we replace this variable then students you will get this expression where you can take xi of e as common okay the quantity in brackets is called the christopher riemann curvature tensor or simply the riemann tensor and it is denoted by r a b c d and it is a rank 4 tensor by definition okay and its valence is given by 1 3 because one index is uh, one is upper index and three are lower indexes or students you can also write it as this one and this is actually the riemann curvature tensor or the Re or the christopher riemann curvature tensor students this is all about this lecture where i have discussed the derivation of the riemann curvature tensor i hope you understand its derivation if you have any question then you can ask me in the comments thank you so much